When you have a look at the New Zealand economy, there's absolutely no doubt that we're not going to grow our economy by doing anything more in New Zealand. What we need to do is we need to have more exporters. We have a government that's put in place free trade agreements nice and close to us and in some of the fastest growing economies in the world. What we need to do as businesses is take advantage of that. What we do as a chamber is show people how to take advantage of that. We do these awards as a means of providing a platform off which you can take your next step up. A part of what we do is we deliver business success and we can only do that when we work with you. It's been a real privilege for the Auckland Chamber of Commerce to do the Westpac Business Awards for Central Auckland this year. We get the opportunity to work with small businesses and large businesses. I've seen the Davids and the Goliaths this year. I really want to congratulate those emerging companies who have signalled to the Auckland business community that they're on their way. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. I'd like to acknowledge from Westpac, Simon Power. And I want to acknowledge Westpac because not only do they support the awards here in Auckland, and they do it four times. They support the chamber around New Zealand, and I think there's something like 18 or 20 chambers that Westpac support. It's their way of supporting small, medium businesses, and I'd like to thank Simon for his continued support. I'd like also to acknowledge <clears throat> directors of the chamber that are here tonight, my chamber colleagues. I'd like to especially acknowledge the judges, you know, the guys that go through all of the processes that you've gone through in order that we can get winners. The time and the skills that they gift, to my mind, is a part of the growth that you all get out of the processes that we go through. My sponsors, you know and I know I could not do this. We could not do this without you. So thank you. To you, the finalists, and to the entrants, and you ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. And I have to acknowledge also our MC, Frankie Stevens. Three years in a row, Frankie, and ladies and gentlemen, why is he back here? Because he's good at what he does. Join with me in acknowledging those people tonight. Thank you. So often with awards, we see traditional names and known brands alongside stories that we've heard before, and the results are in line with what it is that people have seen and what it is that people expect. But tonight, I'd like to think we'll do something a little bit different. The only thing that will be the same is that we will celebrate success and passion and a commitment to a vision in business. Tonight you will celebrate companies who in the past we would have referred to as new and emerging. And today they are, but they are emerging and doing business successfully, locally and internationally. These companies are Auckland based, but world focused. You will see companies who, whose contact with customers is not measured in handshakes and phone calls, but in tens of thousands of tweets. They have customers who follow them and like them and pass on their information to their networks, almost acting as agents, but doing so not for commission, but because they like their products and their services and their way of doing business. You will hear about companies who are helping the more traditional firms move from print to technology platforms, to shared platforms, and those who act as intermediaries to help their clients engage and communicate with their world markets. We will celebrate companies who engage in adventure and transport, but who find their success in their commitment to health and safety. We will recognise firms of young people developing groundbreaking innovative software for app solutions that are sold internationally, or others 
who delight in the creation of online games that keep my kids and your kids around the world fixed to a screen on the wall on their desk or held in their hands on a bus or in a train or wherever they choose to be. And ladies and gentlemen, don't be misled. This is not signalling a takeover of the old by the young. But what is changing, if we manage it well, is how the old can learn the new technology from the young, and the young can extract the ways of good business practice from the old. No longer is mentoring and learning a top-down process. It is reciprocal, and those who adapt will succeed, and they will be our successful firms tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited by what we have witnessed in our building up to these awards. The quality of our entrants, the commitment to excellence from our finalists, and your willingness to be here tonight to celebrate business success. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the occasion. <laughs>